Out of the Cradle, Endlessly Racking by Walt Whitman Out of the cradle, endlessly rocking, out of the mockingbird's throat, the music shuttle, out of the ninth month's midnight, over the sterile sands and the fields beyond, where the child, leaving his bed, wandered alone, bareheaded, barefoot, down from the showered hollow, up from the mystic play of shadows twining and twisting as if they were alive, out from the patches of briars and blackberries, from the memories of the bird that chanted to me, from your memory, sad brother, from the fitful risings and fallings I heard, from under that yellow half-moon, late risen and swollen as if with tears, from those beginning notes of yearning and love, there in the mist, from the thousand responses of my heart never to cease, from the myriad thence aroused words, from the words stronger and more delicious than any, from such as now they start the scene revisiting, is a flock twittering, rising, or overheard passing, borne hither ere all eludes me hurriedly, a man, yet, by these tears, a little boy again, throwing myself on the sand, confronting the waves, a chanter of pains and joys, uniter of here and hereafter, taking all hints to use them, but swiftly leaping beyond them, a remnant sing. Once, Pamanok, when the lilac scent was in the air and fifth month grass was growing, up the seashore in some briars, two feathered guests from Alabama, two together, in their nest and their four light green eggs spotted with brown. And every day the he bird to and fro near at hand. And every day the she-bird crouched on her nest, silent with bright eyes. And every day I, a curious boy, never too close, never disturbing them, cautiously peering, absorbing, translating. Shine, shine, shine. Pour down your world, great sun. While we bask, we two together, two together. Winds blow south, or winds blow north. Day come white, or night come black. Home, or rivers and mountains from home. Singing all time, minding no time. While we two keep together. Till all of a sudden, may be killed unknown to her mate. One forenoon, the she-bird crouched not on the nest, nor returned that afternoon, nor the next, nor ever appeared again. And thenceforward, all summer, in the sound of the sea, and at night under the full moon, in calmer weather, over the hoarse surging of the sea, or flitting from briar to briar by day, I saw, I heard at intervals the remaining one, the he-bird, the solitary guest from Alabama. Blow, 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 blow up sea winds along Pamnak shore. I wait and I wait till you blow my mate to me. Yes. When the stars glistened all night long on the prong of moss-garped stake, down almost amid the slapping waves, sat the lone singer, wonderful, causing tears. He'd call on his mate. He poured forth the meanings which I of all men know. Yes, my brother, I know. 
the rest might not. But I have treasured every note from more than once dimly down to the beach gliding, silent, avoiding the moonbeams, blending myself with the shadows, recalling now the obscure shapes, the echoes, the sounds and sights of the after the sorts, the white arms out in the breakers tirelessly tossing. I, with bare feet, a child, the wind wafting my hair, listen long and long. Listened to keep, to sing, now translating the notes, following you, my brother. Soothe, 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 close on its wave, soothe the wave behind, and again another behind, embracing and lapping, every one close. But my love soothes not me, not me. Lo, hangs the moon, it rose late. It is lagging. Oh, I think it is heavy with love, with love. Oh, madly the sea pushes upon the land with love, with love. O oh, night, do I not see my love fluttering out among the breakers? What is that little black thing I see there in the white? Loud, 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 I call to you, my love. High and clear, I shoot my voice over the waves. Surely you must know who is here. It is, is here. You must know who I am, my love. Low hanging moon, what is that dusky spot in your brown yellow? Oh, it is the shape, the shape of my mate. O oh, moon, do not keep her from me any longer. Land, land, O oh land, whichever way I turn, oh, I think I could give my mate back again, if you only would. For I am almost sure I see her dimly, whichever way I look. O oh, rising stars, perhaps the one I want so much will rise will rise with some of you. O oh, throat, O oh, trembling throat, sound clearer through the atmosphere, pierce the woods, the earth, somewhere listening to catch you must be the one I want. Shake out carols, solitary here the night carols, carols of lonesome love, death's carols, carols under that lagging yellow waning moon. Oh, under what moon, where she droops almost down into the sea. Oh, reckless, despairing carols. But soft, sink low, soft. Let me just murmur. And do you wait a moment, you husky noise sea. For somewhere, I believe, I heard my mate responding to me. So faint I must be still, be still to listen. But not altogether still, for then she might not come immediately to me. Hither, my love, here I am, here. With this just sustained note, I announce myself to you. This gentle call is for you, my love, for you. Do not be decoyed elsewhere. That is the whistle of the wind, it is not my voice. That is the fluttering, the fluttering of the spray. Those are the shadows of the leaves. Oh, darkness. Oh, in vain. Oh, I am very sick and sorrowful. Oh, brown hello in the sky near the moon, drooping upon the sea. Oh, troubled reflection in the sea. O oh, throat, O oh, throbbing heart, and I singing uselessly, uselessly all the night. O oh, past, 
Oh, happy life. Oh, songs of joy. In the air, in the woods, over the fields. Loved, 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 loved. But my mate, no more. No more with me. We two together, no more. The aria is sinking, all else continuing, the stars shining. The winds blowing, the notes of the bird continuous echoing. With angry moans, the fierce old mother incessantly moaning. On the sands of Pomac's shore, gray and rustling. The yellow half-moon enlarged, sagging down, drooping. The face of the sea almost touching. The boy ecstatic with his bare feet, the waves with his hair, the atmosphere dallying. The love in the heart long pent, now loose, now at least tumultuously bursting. The aria's meaning, the ears, the soul swiftly depositing. The strange tears down the cheeks coursing. The colloquy there. The trio each uttering the undertone, the savage old mother incessantly crying to the boy's soul, questions silently timing, some down secret hissing to the outsetting bard. Demon or bird, said the boy's soul, is it indeed toward your mate you sing, or is it really me? For I, that was a child, my tongue's you sleeping, now I have heard you. Now in a moment I know what I am for, I awake, and already a thousand singers, a thousand songs clearer, louder, and more sorrowful than yours. A thousand warbling echoes have started to life within me, never to die. O oh, you singer solitary, singing by yourself, projecting me. O oh, solitary me, listening, never more shall I cease perpetuating you. Never more shall I escape, never more the reverberations. Nevermore the cries of unsatisfied love be absent from me. Never again leave me to be the peaceful child I was before. What where in the night? By the sea under the yellow and sagging moon. The messenger there aroused the fire, the sweet hell within. The unknown want, the destiny of me. Oh, give me the claw, it lurks in the night here somewhere. Oh, if I am to have so much, let me have more. A word then, for I will conquer it, the word final, superior to all, subtle, sent up, what is it, I listen. Are you whispering it? And have you been all the time? You sea waves? Is that it from your liquid rims and wet sands? Where to answering the sea? Delaying not, hurrying not. Whispered me through the night and very plainly before daybreak. Lisps me to the low and delicious word death, and again death, 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 hissing melodiously, neither like the bird nor like my aroused child's heart, but edging near as privately for me, resting at my feet creeping thence steadily up to my ears and laving me softly all over. Death, 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 death. 
which I do not forget, that fused the song of my dusky demon and brother, that he sang to me in the moonlight in Pomenoc's gray beach, with a thousand responsive songs at random, my own songs awakened from that hour, and with them the key, the word upon from the waves, the word of the sweetest song and oral songs, that strong and delicious word which, creeping to my feet, or like some old crone rocking the cradle, swathed in sweet garments, bending aside, the sea whispered me.